Book of Enoch describes in dramatic detail a period in which 200 watchers arrive on planet Earth and begin abducting human females. With these women, the watchers produce hybrid beings who are human in form, but far larger than normal human beings. Mythologies around the world corroborate the Book of Enoch's account of abductions by an extraterrestrial presence exiled on planet Earth. Although quoted in the New Testament letter of Jude and accepted as scripture by the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, the Book of Enoch has never been included in the internationally accepted canons of scripture for either Judaism or Christianity. The fact that the Book of Enoch isn't one of the canonical books of the Bible, I don't think is particularly important. Clement of Alexandria, among other church fathers, quoted it as scripture. And the narrative that it holds is really a, an unpacking of narratives you can find referenced all through the Bible. You can find it in Genesis, Ezekiel, and in the Gospels and New Testament. It's story of 200 watchers coming and interbreeding with human beings and producing giants. That's a narrative that's in the Bible and you can go all around the world and it repeats in mythologies from every culture. You can find it in the Mesoamerican story. You can find it in African stories. You can go to Greece, go to India, go to the Nordic countries. You can go anywhere on the planet. And that story of abductions and interbreeding with another kind of being that came from the sky repeats over and over again. In the West, these ancient accounts of abduction and interbreeding have been read as fables. The beings exiled to Earth are interpreted as mythical beings are nothing more than literary creations. Some interpret the Watchers and the Mamiwota people as spiritual beings rather than a species like ourselves. But this explanation fails to account for the narrative of interbreeding. Many of the Christian and shamanic traditions of Africa take a more concrete view. These beings, these watchers, as the Book of Enoch calls them, are described as physical creatures just as much as we are. They have powers that set them apart from human beings. They can travel great distances uh, with great rapidity, maybe interdimensionally. They're not from Earth, they come from the sky, and they intervene harmfully in human affairs. And that includes the stories of abduction and interbreeding. Now, by any reading, that sounds an awful lot like an extraterrestrial. 